Hi, Paul from PowerWashStore.com here. We're going to go through step by step on a brand new proportioner how to prime it with the uh, Water Dragon uh, Control Wizard remote control system. This has electric ball valves, which makes it very easy for priming the system. So, what we're going to do is, if you can hear, we're actually right now filling the water tank with pressurized water to the tank. And you can see on the, the little tanks here, I got about six inches of water in each tank, which is about all you should really need for priming. Right here I have my remote control, um, one of the key fob styles, and you can actually hear the valves. If you look at the valve here, button A is my valves, which will allow me to turn the valves between filling the tank or going to the proportioner. At the same time, it takes the valve that's up below it from drawing from the proportioner to allowing it to be direct feed into the booster pump. So there's a series of two valves that work together. Up here we have our control wizard right now. If I turn it off, you'll see nothing happens when I push the buttons. When I turn it on, I can hit the button. You'll see the A lights up when it switches. If I hit the B button here, you can hear the booster pump turn on. I can also turn them on and off from here directly at the control wizard. If for some reason I lose my remote control, I can still control it right here. Um, you can also turn the booster pump on and off with the switch that we have wired in here. And we also have a ground fault plug on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my proportioner and we're going to get ready to start priming this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my trigger gun on. I'm going to open my water valve all the way. I'm going to start, I'm going to hit the valve to switch where it's going to directly feed into the proportioner. So this is going to force, I'm sorry, into the booster pump. This is going to force feed the water directly into the booster pump when I hit the A button. And I'm going to turn it on. So what this is going to do is this is going to force the air out from the booster pump through the hose so that we can start priming the proportioner. So I'm going to turn on the uh, A valve, I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to hit the A valve, and you're going to see pretty quickly here, I'm going to put the over here, pretty quickly here you're going to see the water come out. Now there's been no water run through this system at all yet, so you see it's just air coming out. So it takes a couple of seconds here. should be coming. So what this is doing, here we go. Now what we've done is we've forced all the air from the booster pump all the way to the end of the gun out of the system. So now I'm going to hit the A button. What this is going to do is this is going to stop force feeding the booster pump and you'll see the water actually beginning to get sucked into the line. Now I may have to do this two, three, four times at the initial time to get the water all the way through the system. So I'm going to hit the A button and we'll watch the line here. And there you go, you see the water gets sucked in right away. All right, we're gonna, then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit the A button again because I lose all my pressure because I've sunk, sucked a bunch of air in. So I'm gonna force the air back out of the system. I'm gonna hit it one more time to make sure I got all the air out of the A line, or the water line. And you see another little bubble come through there. Now you can see how the pressure just dropped. I'm barely getting anything out of it. You can see from the distance that we're shooting here. Now if I hit it again, You'll see what will happen when I force feed it, it'll pick up and the distance goes a lot farther. In this case I got a smaller nozzle so it's atomizing it a little bit. So you can see there's a lot more, more pressure and flow. Alright, so now I have my water line primed. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to open my detergent line. If you watch really close, if you zoom in here, you'll see the, the uh, water come through. I'm going to hit the button. And there you go. You see that water come through really quick. So now I know I got that, that gun, I'm going to hit the A button again to get the air out of the line that I just sucked through the proportioner. Alright, I'm going to do it one more time. Make sure all the air is out. There goes the last little air bubble. Alright, I'm going to go back to the water. I'm going to turn this off. Alright, now I'm going to do the last, last one with the SH valve. So now you're going to see we have an SH line, we have a water line, and an SH line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the SH valve all the way. And you'll see the water come in when I hit the A button. So now we're drawing through the, through the proportion. And there goes the water. All right. Now you can see my pressure like completely dropped. I got next to nothing. Right? Because I got a little air in the system. So I hit the button again to make it force feed directly from the garden hose. And you're going to see that pick back up. There we go. Now I'm forcing the air out of the line. All right. I'm going to hit it one more time to turn it off and go back to the proportioner draw. And I'm going to watch for the air to get sucked through, and it has. So now I'm going to hit it one more time. I'm going to take this valve up here. I'm going to turn it over to 
the SH tank. There you go, you can see it actually sucking the SH in. Now, because I got air and it's not sucking really well, so I'm gonna hit the button to force feed it. The booster pump right now, I'm force feeding the booster pump. Okay. And I got the air out, I'm gonna hit it again. We're gonna finish sucking the SH uh, line clean. Get the rest of the air out of there. Now I saw the rest of the tiny air bubbles going out of there. You can see down here, now we're really starving the pump. You can see we're barely getting enough through because we only have the one valve open. So I'm gonna, one more time, I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna just force all the air out of the system by force feeding the uh, booster pump. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to open my water all the way, I'm going to set my SH, um, if I'm, let's say I'm going to be cleaning some heavy growth, I might set it at 4.5%, so I'm going to go up here, I'm going to set it at 4.5%, I'm going to set my detergent at about uh, a 3 or a 4, and I'm ready to be able to start using the proportioner. Now right now you can see, uh, with the pressure I'm getting, I'm force feeding directly through the garden hose feeding directly into the booster pump. So I'm going to hit the A button to draw through the proportioner. And if you come around the side here, you can get an idea. So this is shooting and this is shooting with the booster pump right now. And I'm getting about, it's pretty windy, so it's kind of atomizing it quite a bit. But I'm, I'm getting a pretty good distance here. Uh, if I go with a larger nozzle right now, I'm running like a 40 nozzle. But if I go up to like a 60 nozzle, I can shoot a lot farther. So I'm going to switch to the proportioner and you're going to see that we're running through the proportioner right now and you can see there's really not much change. If anything, we're getting a little more distance because we're not at quite as high of a pressure. So you can see it's a little more stabilized. We're shooting about the same distance. We're getting about 35 to 40 feet. Now if I want to come back over here, I've done I, what's, what you can see here too, one of the things I've done is I've, I've let off the trigger here. And what, what we did is we installed a bypass kit on the booster pump that'll allow you to let off the trigger and to let it run in bypass just like a pressure washer. Now you can typically run it in bypass for about three minutes before it really starts to heat up and start causing potential damage to the booster pump. If you are going to run it for a long time, a couple things you can do, you can just shut it off with the remote control. And now I can see I squeeze the trigger. Now I can see that's shut off because I've lost all pressure. Okay, you can um, just squeeze the trigger every once in a while if you don't have a remote control. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my mix. So I'm going to come back down here. Um, I don't want to do heavy growth. I want to wash the house now. So I'm going to take the proportioner. I'm going to turn this valve back down to let's say two and a, let's say two percent. I want a two percent mix for cleaning some pool screens. Um, I'm going to take my detergent. I'm going to turn it up all the way. I'm going to start the booster pump up. I'm going to squeeze the trigger and I'm going to count to three. 1001, 1002, 1003. Now I'm going to turn my detergent back where it was. Now what I'll do is I'll just continue to spray. Now I don't have any detergent in here right now. We're just testing with water. But what you'll see is I'll continue to spray. What you'll see is a big glob of soap. When you see that big glob of soap, you know at that point, everything after that is going to be the new mix. So now I can continue to spray with my booster pump, get my distance that I want to get. Spray Mark's car with bleach. Mm. Now this is just water, so we're okay. Now when I want to rinse, if I'm all done and I want to rinse, all I got to do is hit the A button. I don't even have to come back to the truck. And then I can rinse everything out of the line and flush with water. You can see that this has the capability of pushing a fair amount of dirt, rocks, just from the water pressure here. So. What it does is it takes your inlet water pressure and boosts it by about 120 PSI. So you can get as much as 250 PSI coming out of uh, the booster pump when you use the uh, force-fed system. At the end of the day, what we're going to want to do is turn the, water, turn the detergent off. We'll turn our SH valve up all the way and we want to flush the proportioner out. So we're going to take the valve here and we're going to turn it back over to the water. We're going to leave our water open all the way and we're just going to continue to flush with the uh, booster pump. I'm going to actually turn the force speed off and now I'm drawing through the booster uh, proportioner and we'll run that for a few minutes just to rinse it out, make sure everything's flushed really good and everything's all clean. So that is the way to prime a booster pump. That was a uh, brand new one. That's the first time we primed that. You can see actually how easy that is. 
Now with this system, you should be able to maintain Prime as long as you don't run out of any of the products. If you do end up losing Prime in the system, uh, two things to check. One, if your level's too low, you happen to get a little bit of air in there, or you have an air leak somewhere in the system, either from a connection, a valve. Uh, one of the things with these valves here is you can actually loosen and tighten this collar which will allow it to make it easier to turn this valve but if it is too loose you'll actually get some air in that system so uh, once it's primed it should stay, keep its prime and not have to be reprimed at the end of the day I like to just turn the valves off there are check valves installed in the system so it won't back feed into your tank and then I just give it a squeeze just to let any pressure off the system and you're all set so that is how you prime and operate a uh, booster pump with a proportioner from powerwashstore.com 855-351 9274